The second one was electricity, whereby the discovery of electricity br brought a tremendous change in the world. And the, the, the third one was computers, you know, information system. We start doing all things through the computers. Now we are going into cyber. That is the robotic type of a situation whereby things are going to happen in you know, using automation. So I think the principle is we, number one, we have to rethink. If you are a businessman, you need to rethink your business model. In other words, you have to shift from analog to um, digital. Digital, uh -huh. where you are. So there is a shift. These, these are some of the plans we are talking about. You say now you need to plan. If you don't plan, you are planning to fail. Definitely you fail because where we are going now for IR, it's another story. So you need to, if you are a businessman like me, rethink your business model. How are you going to adopt into the whole uh, fourth industrial revolution? Number two, build a strategy around the platforms that you have. You need now to start building the strategies, how to shift, you know, to go into change. Uh, you know, we are now changing and, and it's very important. And the third principle, you need to design, you know, proper strategy for your customers. Uh, in other words, you have to change the way you've been dealing with them. Uh, for example, uh, you know, people pay cash. It's no longer cash. It might be now through some different kind of automation. Mm. And, uh, you know, the banking system has changed and all those things. So it's very important. Number four, you need to raise your technology acumen. In other words, uh, all people who are going to benefit uh, economically into this fourth industrial revolution, you need to learn more technology. If you just know how to say ta, ta, computer, you have to go deeper and get more information so that you get the best out of this so-called fourth industrial revolution. It's coming, it's there. Also, number five, you need to have a, a lot of innovation, innovative mind and creative mind. It's very important. This is the time, you know, all information are on our fingertips. Right. I'm sure it's, it's possible that you can learn anything and uh, on the, on the, you know, on the in internet and bring up tremendous innovation and, and, and the creativity that will give, give you money and you can make millions out of, you know, um, uh, out of this um, a change that is coming. So find a way for you to get a niche into this change so that at least you, you, you benefit. So learn more. That's number six. You need to learn more. Uh, learn more and learn more, learn more, because all things, they have to depend on how you learn. And also... Um, Focus on purpose. What are you going to do? What is the reason? Uh, what sort of, um, uh, what do you want to contribute into the entire industrial revolution, the fourth one? So um, get your purpose and, and get into it and uh, understand it and uh, be part. Don't, don't feel like, oh, well, this thing belongs to certain people, whatever the case may be. We need to take advantage. What can we benefit as Africans, as South Africans, as African? And, and uh, what can we do? How can we join forces? Put up the plans. Today we are talking about planning. So this is the time to plan so that all of us will benefit. If we don't plan the way we did on the first industrial revolution, we'll be left out. The same we were left out in the second and third. So I'm saying to all people who look like me, a black person like me, an African man who is in Africa, in a third world country, let us stand up and put up a planning and focus on this and find a way how can we benefit. Very important principles. Yes, uh, those are the principles. In four minutes, we got all ten principles and I think that uh, we are going to apply. Uh, and then uh, just to make a difference in one's life, I think it's so important. Uh, let's see, Ba. No, um, very, very important. And thank you so much, Dr. Uh, because one of, one of the pointers I love is the one about innovation. Mm. And I think if we, we, we look into this fourth industrial revolution, the truth is it takes, it, it paralyzes the participant of the, or, or, of the government. Yeah. It actually, ta it gives back the power to the people. That's right. Because it takes me to think about a, a, a business that I can mm -hmm. uh, start so that I can be able to benefit. That's right. You know, so I think for our wonderful people, this is the moment where we cannot rely on anybody else but mm -hmm. ourselves. And let us take up the, uh, the opportunity and, and, and equip ourselves and learn, you know. Um, 
we we have spots where Wi-Fi is made available, and there's a lot of plans that the government is trying to implement in terms of availing Wi-Fi spots and all of that. Let us use that to get relevant information. Let us use that to equip our minds and change the way that we look th at things, yeah. and 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 use this moment to, to to benefit. I mean, yesterday at the seminar. Young young guys, we're talking about uh, how they are planning on using technology That's to right. benefit their bene That's businesses. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think there are people out there that are pushing for it. So we encourage and we say, let us go. Because at the end of the day, it will bring change to us. Yes. And we will be able to live without expecting anything but producing something. Something. Right. Yes. Uh, Dr. Last Words. My last words. Let us take advantage of the 4IR. Let us not go into internet or into this for pleasure. But whenever you think about this or get an opportunity to be part and parcel of this fourth industrial revolution in terms of you know internet, please go to the internet with a plan. Don't waste your time into something that does not benefit you. Don't hang around with information and into arguments that is nothing to do with your future. Uh, find opportunities, find business opportunities in right. this plan and um, learn and um, come up with some creative ideas and plans. Mm -hmm. You can come up with a business that will give you millions. You can come up something that everybody never thought. So um, let us use this, the opportunity we have, the change we have, you know, in a way that we are not going to be consumers only, but we are also going to be participants and partners as well. And come up something that we will be also be happy and part of the economy of the uh, fourth industrial revolution. Thank you very much to my guest uh, tonight that actually um, you managed to a uh, able to cover all areas that were left behind. And then uh, we really appreciate. And then to the listeners at home, I just want to say to you, thank you very much for listening to West Side FM 98.9. Uh, from now on oh, 9 o'clock, we'll be leaving you with Zwede Mabona. And then he'll take you until 12 o'clock and then talking about very interesting topics and also very in. Uh, good information and then from our side we say paridos we will talk to you tomorrow as uh, we are engaging with now um exploring oh yeah um the topic for tomorrow i forgot but uh, i will be able to tell you check on my facebook and then you'll know what you're talking about it is also extension of how we're talking about um how to write a book by the way you know because of that's what that's the area that we want to cover thank you very much my listeners and may god bless you be with you and guys you may sh his face shine upon you so that all the time you remember what the love how the love of god is from us as westside fm a uh, community wellness show myself pastor uh, uh, dr gwanda uh, mr lisiba mutali we are saying good Bye. night good night <laughs> 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 oh, okay thank you thank you